Welcome to another episode of Multi Buck Madness, where today I'm about to bulk craft 100 coils. Nice. I just went and bulk crafted a bunch of treated sticks, wire coils, and restonia, and we've set up the auto crafting for coils. Nice. Uh, also, been doing a little bit of uh, the circuit stuff, working towards getting an advanced subscriber, but uh, kind of kind of wanted patterns and we're also going to need the coils for for this part um, gold coils yeah we'll probably bulk craft that although we could we could set up an interface on this crafting machine and that might be a good idea actually because he's going to be used for a lot of different things but what I was actually trying to do was just get some patterns um, which hey we can craft some patterns now Get like 20 patterns. Quartz glass. Quartz glass was like fused quartz and something else. We can probably teach these recipes because we can do it in the induction smelter. So quartz glass. Oh, let's get, can we get like five patterns. That'll be handy. And now I can't see them. Five patterns. So we want quartz glass. And this is going to be a processing recipe. It's a weird thing. Ah, uh, so this, but we want fused quartz uh, and just one. One fused quartz, one certus quartz dust becomes quartz glass. Um, certus quartz dust is one certus quartz crystal. <laughs> nice, because we've got a machine set up for that. And fused quartz. Oh, it's only a recipe in that dude? It is only a recipe in that guy. Well, that's unfortunate. Go. And he's probably going to start getting low on power. Oh, wireless out of range. Oh, yes, we're running low on power. <laughs> that is because we've got this guy running over here. We need to switch him off. There we go. Just had a bit of iron and stuff. Oh, and yes, I uh, put some asphalt down. Um, that's noisy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll carry on. Just, yeah, still, whoops. Doing a little bit of tidying up. It's starting to automate bits and pieces, and then we'll, uh, oh, we like this. We're now, now getting the stuff out of this guy. Obviously, a little bit of wastage here. Could just have piped it into the other one. But it was quicker to do this. And yeah, we're now chucking coal in here. Um, we'll just have to keep an eye on this tank, which I think we could have piped out of this just into perhaps a like a fluid trash can if we wanted to. But it's actually handy for making treated wood. And this is a pretty big tank, so I'll just have to make sure I check on it occasionally. But yeah, slowly starting to automate some stuff. Oh, but before I forget... <laughs> Crushed quartz goes in here, and this glass goes in, wait, no, wrong thing, it's pattern, pattern, pattern goes in here, crushed quartz goes in there, quartz glass goes in here, and then we could now auto craft, like now we could ask for 20, to craft 33, and then we click start, you should start crushing, Oh, we had the court, so it's called the dust. Nice. And I like how fast these machines are. But yeah, oh, one less manual process. Time for more machine frames. Um, just getting a energetic infuser for getting charged so does quartz, because it's a little bit of a pain to charge it with uh, the applied energistics charger. And one energetic infuser. Cool, and we can also use this for charging up our flux capacitor, which is getting a little bit low. Um, it's going to take a while, but really what I was after is charged status quartz. Um, for getting flux dust, for making carbonic flux, carbonic flux complex, making flux plated platinum ingots, for getting flux logic units, so I can finally get an advanced subscriber, so we can actually like 
easily bulk craft uh, applied energistic circuits um, without having to rely on like this this horrible mess. Now I thought there was a really easy way to make these processors with lazy AE2 but it looks like we might have to go mass manufacturing machine um, like plastic we haven't made advanced machine frame casings we haven't made so I don't think we can make this yet stainless steel we haven't touched a discharge name and a midnight block midnight was quite hard as well so I think this is how we're going to have to go like I think the machine might actually not be there I can't at least I can't see it in the like in here where I thought there was like recipes where it was like gold silicon redstone makes the circuit and you don't have to like process the the in-between components like these things but uh, looks like we can't do it that way you know it is always kind of satisfying making this stuff this way <laughs> That is cool. And that's a fair bit of flux crystals. Um, and of course we could be doubling these um, by crushing them up and then making the seeds. Um, but really, oh, we could photogenic isolate. We don't have a good supply of glowstone and we're not quite a mechanism. Maybe we'll hold off, hold off a mechanism before doing that. Uh, we could use those crystal growth accelerators, but this will be fine. And then I wanted to crush up like a lot of these. Uh, we'll crush up like half. And then that's going to get us... Oh, I need silicon. Right, and silicon. It's crushed quartz, and I think it's even certus quartz. Which we don't actually have a lot of. We have a lot of quartz. And yeah, I guess we'll uh, bulk craft some of that as well. Oh. Let's get... Uh, we want f eight in total. And Skystone. And then Platinum. And then I think we have to... We have to use the inscriber, which is unfortunate. Um, I guess we'll, I mean, I guess we can use like all of, the, we can do it like this. And I'm assuming the thing we're about to make would also do it for us. And this should be enough to get us two of them, which is enough to get us an advanced inscriber. Thank goodness. Until oh, what quest was that? No reward. Cool. Um, you're going to live. Uh, five channels there. These channels are all used. I guess we can put you for now. Uh, it's not a great place, is it? Uh, <laughs> um, sure. Locked, can't be removed with automation. That's right. Yeah. Well, just, I wonder if we can time in a bottle this guy. We'll find out. So we still need the, uh, yeah, we still need, if we got a chest. Because this guy still needs the, um, these things. And yeah, my plan will just be to bulk craft when we need to. Like if we wanted a bunch of silicon, we would grab the silicon press. And then we would grab a bunch of silicon. I guess we'll just do a stack. And then we can just do this. And can we tie on a bottle? That would be... We can, that's, a, that's an improvement. Nice. And then we'll use this for making more well, circuits when we need to. And actually what I was trying to do was just uh, get some more drives. Because these guys are starting to get full. So I'll probably, I'll probably make some of them. Yeah, this is better. 
This is definitely better than the other method. Like using the uh, just the regular machines. And that's going to get us some 4K storage drives, which I think will be enough. Although we could potentially... I think we want to make these into 8K. And we can... Oh, 16K ones. I feel like 4K is probably enough. Like if we've got 16,000 of something, I'm probably going to be putting it in a storage drawer. Although I'm not really super keeping track of it. So we buff them in there. Let's get some 4Ks. What don't we have? Quartz glass. Why do we not have quartz glass? Did I put something in the wrong? No, I got fused quartz. That was what I just made a bunch of. Quartz glass. Wait. Oh. Oh, I made fused quartz, which is the recipe that needs it. Right. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. There we go. Um, how many slots we got? One, two, three, four, seven. Seven slots. Perfect. We're actually running on redstone too. And then drives. Cell. Uh, There's like an empty... Oh, we actually are running low on redstone. Gonna have to go mining for redstone, which is unusual. Oh, we need one more. Come on. Come on. We need to, one more. There we go. Seven drives. Cool. Nice. All right, so the actual quest we want to sort of get start getting into is the terrestrial agglomeration plate. So we need blood-infused iron, which inert blood iron and a tier three altar, so we can do that, and that requires ooh, multiple binding reagents. It's glowstone dust, life essence bucket. That's not too bad. We can we can whip up some of them. And that was just yeah, an blood iron to make that cool. Uses a little bit of will. will. So we can get them. That was energetic alloy, tar drops, mana powder. None of that's too bad. We can do that. Powered void crystals. So we're going to want to make some more of them. Got the stuff for that. And powered palace crystal. None of that was too major either. And two sparks. You know what? We probably should have made sparks already. And there's, there's some extras. Because we're probably going to want them. <laughs> right. Uh, so we've made these before. I guess the inert blood ironing. It's binding reagents. I don't know that we've got any of that left over. And here comes the inert blood ironing. It's... And unfortunately, life essence buckets don't stack. But fortunately, time bottle works. Oh, I can keep up. So there's a nine inert blood iron ingots. Um, and each one of these requires uh, how much? 5,000, so we can do two at a time if we have a full altar. Like there's a full altar, so we can do one, two, and then speed it up. And I just turned off this thing from extracting because it's fine at the moment. Nice. And then I just do that a few more times. And now we just have to craft these things. And can we? I think that works. Oh, that definitely didn't. Oh yeah, that works. Must be using so much power. Oh. Must be using so much power. 
Nice, and yeah, fancy automation. So there's the four of them. Then empowered void, that was primal void stone. So we only need four, right? So primal void stone, we made a bunch. Um, infinity dust blocks, that's really simple. What do you reckon these are like to build with? Oh. Oh. Terrible. I should not have done that. <laughs> oh dear. Well. Problem solved. Note to self, don't place them. Perfect. And that should be. Ah, oh, and the Terra Steel agglomeration plate. Ah, oh, that's right, runes. Runes, runes, runes. Are we lucky enough to have some? Ooh, all we're missing is the rune of mana, and that's an easy one. Okay, it's not too bad. And I realize I'm about to have to uh, get some better mana automation going. <laughs> Um, if we're going to be crafting like Terra Steel, but Root of Mana, Terrestrial Agglomeration Plate, I need another spark. Nice. I want a bit of aim these guys. Back at this. There we go. Awesome. And we get four star mid lore, which is nice. More than one linked mana pool will allow you to perform the craft faster. Yeah, I'll probably link all of them. Mana diamonds, star metal, and mana pearls. And like a half, that might be like, is it like two mana pools or four mana pools? Hmm. Maybe we'll do something a little bit more decorative at some stage. But I want those. One of them. Uh, and then it's Empowered Palace. Ooh, oh, there's multiple. Ooh, that's, that would be, be a weird building block if you made an entire building out of that. Yeah. Oof. Dude, that's my eyes. Um, and then this guy goes, nope, this guy goes on here. And we can set a spark up here. So he should be linked. And then we can link one here. And if we grab a couple more sparks. Well, we got one, so we just need one more. And I hope they'll reach over there. And then we actually might have a lot this. There we go. And oh, it's nice and fast, but how much mana are we draining? Oh, I actually didn't look bad. And we'll get another one. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see how many we can get. So one of them, one of them, one of them. And I guess I'll just push my luck. Oh, okay, so we drained two pulls. <laughs> we got five. And actually, that would have meant we got ingots. Uh, another one from here. So we got six. So we can turn them into plates. I was also looking at what else this is used for. Like the glitch armor uses something to do with Terra Steel, but it uh, looked like we also need a tier five blood altar, which we don't have yet. We got like one, two, three, four. We got tier four. But if we make these into plates, uh, so we're trying to. Are we going to need anything? Nothing's. Uh, no. Induction smelter can make this. I'm just making sure we don't need anything. Like making sure nothing requires. This guy. 
Actually, no, you can replace blocks at a time, right? Oh, that was close. <laughs> uh, let's get some buckets. Cool. Yeah, I think we can replace some of the blocks at a time. And it doesn't matter. Um, so. We're missing uh, more advanced circuits. Do we make a bunch of these? Advanced circuit parts and... Advanced circuits, advanced circuits, advanced circuit board. Oh, we didn't get that. Advanced circuit boards. Silicon wafer we can't make. Normal circuits and electrum. And then with a little bit of iron and some of this carbon manganese blend, um, this should make... Oh, he's a little bit slow. HSLA steel, which we're not seeing because it's coming out of the thing too fast. Yeah, it's like 15... Uh, 59 on one carbon manganese makes HSLA steel. Um, and we got carbon manganese. I actually got it as a byproduct of just processing some tungsten. So we managed to, well, maybe we got enough. Maybe we got enough. I mean, 128, that sounds pretty good. 16, that would probably be enough gears. Probably get some of the, the thermal expansion uh, machines for making gears. I don't want to make too many because I know we use HSLA steel for other stuff. So now I think four, eight. So we need more because we need 36 of these. Let's just do all of them. We can always melt them down, I think. Ah, oh, we need more Terra steel. So we need more mana. All right, I'll do the. Try and see if we can get these block placers um, to place leaves fast enough for these guys to keep up. Because I don't think these were too bad to make, right? Oh, ah, wasn't a pack. No. Oh, you know what? We've probably already got the stuff for doing this, right? Hoping these will keep up. Doesn't look very nice. Uh, maybe another two just to make it. Even. Because what could have been happening is like this dude like grabs one, but then this one over here grabbed the same one, and then but when he went to grab another leaf, he couldn't find it, and then he's like, ah, oh, there's no leaves, so I have to stop. And I guess we just do that and build up some mana. A little bit, that's probably not enough though. That looks pretty good. I, I think it's only that flower when he stopped. I wonder if he stopped because he got... Probably because he got full. This guy's not quite fast enough. Can we get the faster spreaders? Uh, no. Not yet. Well, that should, that should get us the mana we need. And, uh, yeah. So in between episodes, I'll finish whipping up that... Oh, let's see the... The, uh... ME controllers from here. Um, yeah, in between episodes, I'll finish whipping up those last bits of Terra Steel so we can, uh, get the hotter heat in our blast furnace. And I'm assuming we're using something from that to get into mechanism. So it should be cool. Should be cool. Alright guys, see you in the next one.